Harry and Meghan selling the mansion. What's up with that? I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, I know you're watching. So go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, thanks very much for tuning in all the time. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So the fact is, I mean, someone in the uh, royal uh, court said this woman who's very much anti Harry and Meghan, you know, they didn't need a $10 million mansion. So now, I mean, it makes you think, you know, are they rethinking their financial situation? Maybe they're going to get a bigger house, a more expensive house, but maybe they're going to sell that one to put some of their money in the bank. We'll find out. And we'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. So I really hadn't kept up accurately with how much money they brought to the marriage. I mean, she was worth about six million. He was worth maybe 30 million, I think, something like that, uh, between his mother's inheritance and uh, maybe his uh, grandmother, uh, the queen's mother, uh, left him and William some cash. And uh, I believe that Philip didn't leave him, uh, Prince Philip didn't leave him anything, and uh, dad, Prince Charles is kind of cutting them short. So, you know, let's look at that. So was this house not big enough? Is this house too big? Are they looking for more space for the kids to play? I mean, I don't know what's going on, but we'll see if the cards can help us out. So these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt Tarot. And some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil, gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Carabillo. And uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect... Uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing. I'll show you in a second. The instruction booklet isn't really much. Um, it's just a, a, some good information about Clint, really, several pages on him. And then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics. And it's in several different languages. So that's useful to lots of folks, I suppose. The containers, nothing to speak of, except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around. And the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in in four different languages. So like, these are ones. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting and they're and uh, if you go to Austria you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. So yeah, Harry and that mansion. What's going on? Harry and Meghan and the manse. But you know, before we do that, let's just take, really, it's just a few seconds to meditate. See? Easy. But why does, if it's true, why does he consider, you know, let's, let's ask uh, three cards uh, just to get started, just to get warmed up. So for Harry, is this true that he's, that he wants to sell the, the mansion for any reason whatsoever? Let's see what the cards say. Just three cards. Uh, Harry, is that true? One, two, three. Huh. Be interesting to see. So Harry, do you, do you want him to sell that place? Uh, so we've got right here the King of Swords. 
So truth, justice, rules, law, the king. You know, this only makes me think of his privacy that uh, that he may be concerned with. This guy's kind of a little bit uh, reddish tint hair, as a matter of fact. So yeah, he is, he's the king of his uh, house. So the next card for that then is the fool, this journey, a new journey. And then the last card for this is the eight of wands, where there, which are so many issues. Well, this, this kind of does tell a story. So truth, justice, rules, law. Um, the fool uh, is, you know, beginning the, his journey. And uh, the eight of wands, wands are actions, plans. Uh, usually you're thinking about a lot of things coming at you at the same time. It's usually bothersome. So if he's standing behind his truth and his rules and his justice and his law on this new journey, all of these issues coming up, um, it could be that maybe they're finding they need more seclusion, I wonder. That's interesting. So, I hadn't really thought of it that way. It all seemed shallow, but I wonder if they just need a better hideout than uh, in the hills of Montecito. That's interesting to think about. So... Is this legitimate? Is is if they're considering selling this place, is this a legitimate reason that if we were in their heads, uh, we would say, uh, yeah, this is what we should do. We you know, let's consider doing this. So is this a legitimate? If this is true, if this is this a legitimate uh, consideration for them to make right now? Three cards, okay. One, two, three. Is this legitimate? consideration for them to make right now. Just these three cards. First card, uh, right off the bat, is the sun card. So yeah, that would indicate, you know, that's a yes card. The sun shining uh, itself down on the issue, and we're talking about the California sunshine. Huh. The next card, uh, then, is a five of cups. The five of cups is kind of, uh, let's see the surprise here, it's kind of being offered, uh, you know, you spilled a little something, you got a little something left, it's kind of a shock. Um, you know, it's not the end. Um, it's a nuisance. And um, with the last card being the Three of Cups, there are celebrations, actually. So, would this be a legitimate, if we knew what was in their head, would this be a legitimate thing uh, to consider? If, they're, if, in fact, they are considering some of that place. And we get the Sun card, which is a Yes card. Shine, you know, if you've shown up this issue, then maybe, and then the Sun also being so indicative of California. But then we get the, the uh, Five of Cups, which is regret, you know. So, you know, and I would think it is kind of emotionally... If they find that really need to move for even more privacy, yeah, this could be emotionally kind of thinking, gosh, you know, I spilled this, and, but I, it's hard to think that you still have something left. And then uh, with the Three of Cups, indicating that, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll be emotionally a celebratory uh, end. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it is a legitimate thing for them to consider if they are, in fact, considering that. <laughs> but let's just see what the cards can lay out for us in general about Harry and Megan. Let's see if there's good or bad coming up. Uh, you know, long-term, permanent type of hurt kind of uh, information. If there's any of that for Harry and Megan, is there? And if there is, then just tell us a story. So if there's some sort of long-term hurt, or, or if you can just tell us if it's happy. Uh, so let's see what the story does say. Let's do a uh, full Celtic Road is six to begin with. One, two, three, four, five, and six, just to get started. Okay, six cards. What can we learn? Okay, so this is the hanged man. So this is, you know, looking at something from another perspective. And I guess you would have to be them. For us looking in, they've got this amazing mansion you know, it's own uh, every kind of diversion built right into it. And uh, but if you had to look at it from another angle, maybe from the inside, um, it might be clear. The uh, challenge to that uh, with this eight of cups is emotionally really having everything that you need, you know. And so it's it's unimaginable to think that uh, this could be such a situation that you'd need to leave such luxury. It's not enough. Uh, the Five of Swords is um, kind of an abuse 
of power. And it's funny how this is depicted here because we've got these swords here, almost like a window. We've got this uh, passionate uh, person very much exposed, and we have some sort of a, a, a specter, uh, almost a mask or an, an animal or some something uh, kind of horrified looking in at our um, our nudity, our our vulnerability. So yeah, so and that's the base of the whole thing. So yeah, I think we're onto something here. In the past of this reading is the uh, four pinnacles. So just trying to hold on to your value. You know, if that's all you're trying to do, and it's just such a challenge. And then in the sky of this, we have the Empress, uh, Imperatrice. Okay, so yeah, so she comes with us to us with just all the knowledge, all the value that a soul can have and um and that's what we're aiming for and so yeah i think serenity is uh what is uh in the in the sky of this whole thing uh the likely outcome of the first part of this then is oh that's the tower card what a shame so it's the tower card and this tower is quite elegant as a matter of fact but we can see here that the tower even in this thing just like in real life is seems to be really perfectly intact okay it looks like there's something in the environment of the tower that is going to start to take the roof off okay and um and so that's just like their home we look at their home and we think that is beautiful how could anybody want anything more than what that is but it's it's, it's the environment around that that just makes it uh yeah not the place to be anymore Huh, very interesting, very direct answer. So the last uh, part of this, we'll just let the cards continue to tell their story, I guess. Um, I want to ask is, will they find, uh, will this next place be the perfect home? Or what can you tell us along those lines? Yeah, that's enough. The, the self of that question, I'll try to line these up over here like I've been doing, um, is the fool, uh, well, a new journey. The fool is starting a new journey. So that's exactly what they'll be doing. They'll be starting again on a new journey. Okay. Uh, in the environment of uh, right here, and this is the Five of Pentacles. And gosh, the Five of Pentacles is kind of feeling left out in the cold. Uh, it's, it's not being protected, really. Okay, so again, this woman's vulnerability is uh, right next to such a solid um, affirmation of, of worth, but uh, she's just a little bit outside of it with her value hanging up here and seem, seeming not to be as much as this value. So yeah, so this journey is starts off in a place of a lot of vulnerability is, is what it goes, comes down to. Uh, the hopes and the fears for that with this high priestess, so this is the second person the fool meets when they start their journey. So if this is a new journey, then we want to know that pretty soon we're going to run into the person who has the answers, and that would be the high priestess. Okay, so so I would say the hopes and the fears are that we get the information that we need. We run into this high priestess, or uh, Megan and Harry do, um, uh, right away. And this looks like they will. I mean, it's right here in the cards. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing for this mansion mishap is the Seven of Pentacles, wow, still being left wondering if you've done enough. Pentacles are value, worth, something that's important to you. And this Seven of Pentacles, this person is looking at their fruitful crop here and just wondering, is it even, has this been enough or, or have I harvested enough? Is there more I should take? It's, it's an uncertainty about whether this thing has been done as well as, as it could be done, the Seven of Pentacles. So very interesting read for, for Harry and Megan. My goodness. So they're, yeah. Amazing. It's interesting to speculate about Harry and Meghan, whether you like them or whether you hate them. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool story to follow. So I hope you enjoyed what the cards said. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, let's do it again tomorrow. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.